All right, there seems to be some questions on how to set up the Fight Smart LED strip from Costco. So I'll just run through it with you quick. I'm going to open up the Fight Electric app. From there, we can see Add Device. Uh, I'm going to plug in the power to the strip. And we're just going to follow the prompts. So we have lighting, and we have the strip light, making sure the light is blinking. Uh, the first time I did this, the light was not blinking. So I pressed and held this for five seconds like the directions say, and it came on. So since we are, we're going to say confirm and next. Uh, my Wi-Fi pops up. Yours should too, making sure you're on 2.4 only as it says. Um, so I'm going to take this away, enter my password. So Wi-Fi password entered. And set that there and let it do its thing. It does take a minute. Oh my gosh. Thirty eight per cent. This may be what some of you are running into. It's the first time I ran into it. All right, so that didn't work first time. So I'm going to power cycle it just by unplugging power. Plug it back in. Press and hold for, there we go. And we're confirming password. That time it got it, so I think as some of you saw, it did not connect the first time, um, but it did connect the second time. Uh, when I plugged it in, waited, it started flashing on its own, and I thought that was good. I don't believe that is correct. I think you have to manually press and hold uh, once you turn it on to get it to come on. So uh, you can edit the strip light and call it whatever you want. You can fat finger it and there you can edit the device name and then when you hit done there's your strip light doing your brightness settings go into color mode you got the wheel you got selected colors effects as well so I think there is a Christmas just goes back and forth from red to green. And then you can go back to this page. It's a tap on 
tap off. If you want to enter settings for the light, you have to press and hold on that particular strip light, and then you can edit it, change the name, etc. So, but that's it. So yes, I did have issues the first time because I did not let any, I just let it run its course and uh, you physically have to press the button. Plug it in, wait one second, press and hold this button for five seconds and you should be good to go. Hope you enjoy.